Hey, Dave Stallman here, and we're doing some inverse trig functions. So I've got a unit circle drawn here, radius of one, and for any angle theta, there is um, an, an amount in the x direction and an amount in the y direction that you would go to get from the origin out to the circle. And so that x distance and that y distance is that coordinate of that point. Now, we said that the cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse, or x over 1. And we said that the sine of an angle is opposite over adjacent, or y over 1. And we said that the tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent, or y over x. Now it turns out that there are inverse functions. And the first one is secant. And the secant of an angle is defined as 1 over the cosine of the angle. And we know that cosine is x. So the secant of an angle is 1 over x. The next inverse function is called cosecant. And cosecant is defined as 1 over sine. And we know that sine is y. So the cosecant of an angle is 1 over y. Lastly, we have cotangent. And cotangent is defined as 1 over tangent. Now, this one gets tricky because, um, well, a number of different reasons. Because we have a fraction over a fraction, and the tangent itself is a fraction. Um, but let's see if we can figure this out. We know that tangent is y over x, and so this would be 1 over y over x. And we know that whenever you have a number divided by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, and then so 1 times the reciprocal, and then, of course, this just equals x over y. And so, I'm going to summarize that over here, because this is a lot, of, a lot of jazz, but the cotangent of an angle is x over y, which is the, the reciprocal of y over x. Now, we could also say that x is cosine and y is sine. So you might also see this, that the cotangent is equal to cosine over sine. But here's the big part right there. That's the most important. Okay, so um, let's look at our unit circle real quick, and we'll do an example. Let's say that... Let me do this. Let's say that we wanted to calculate the secant of, let's do 45 degrees. Okay? Well, the secant of is 1 over x. So this would be 1 over and we would go to 45, and we'd find the x value, which is square root of 2 over 2. And so now we got some work to do. This is going to be 1 times the reciprocal. And 
Obviously, this is if you multiply one times something, it's just that. And now we have to get rid of the square root in the denominator. So you have to multiply like that. And we end up in the numerator, 2 square root of 2. And in the denominator, we get square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is square root of 4, which is 2. And then those cancel, and it ends up being square root of 2. So that's how you do a secant. And yes,